Moving on from animal and plant cells, we're going to talk about diet and exercise. A big part of diet and exercise is nutrition. We're going to talk about the different food groups. The main three that we're going to focus on are carbohydrates, proteins and fats. These make up almost all of your meals. Carbohydrates are found in rich quantities in foods like pasta, bread, potatoes and sweets. They may not be termed as essential sources of nutrients as our body can take all the nutrients it requires from fats and proteins if it had to. However, they are indispensable as neurons can't burn fat and require carbohydrates for nutrition. They are broadly classified as simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. Fats are our energy store. They provide insulation and protection and also enable other nutrients to function properly. They are found mainly in foods like french fries, donuts, pies, pastries and margarines etc. As a general guideline, they should form 30% of our daily food intake. Proteins are needed to make our bodies work efficiently. We get proteins from food like fish, eggs, chicken and other meats. You can also get protein from dairy products. These are an essential part of our diet and should make up at least 30% of our food intake. They help in forming new muscles in the body as well as repairing and replacing old ones. There are some other nutrients that we need in smaller amounts. These are vitamins, minerals and fibre. Vitamins are simple ions. If we don't have enough iron, we can get various deficiencies, such as anemia. Vitamins are also needed for the creation of enzymes. We need vitamins like vitamin C, that can be found in lemons, oranges and kiwis, to help keep our immune system healthy. And it acts as a collagen and antioxidant.